Hi everybody, it's me. You are not gonna believe what I just found. Oh my god. Apparently you can get first chapter of Fifty Shades of Grey online and you can read it free from Random House Australia. I'm gonna read it. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. What I've heard about Fifty Shades of Grey is that it started out as a Twilight fan fiction and this chick like took it and changed the names um it was really like some kind of twilight au verse where bella and edward worked in an office building or something and edward was into kinky sex and i don't know anything really about the actual um 50 shades of gray other than that it has to do with bdsm i mean all i've heard really like on the internet is that it's it like apparently portrays those kinds of relationships in a really inaccurate way um but yeah, so I'm going to read the first chapter and see if it's similar to Twilight. I'm, I'm assuming it is. I mean, it was a Twilight fan fiction. I don't know how much of it she edited besides changing the names. Um, oh, and it's like almost one in the morning and I have work tomorrow. So yeah, this should be kind of interesting and fun to do. Chapter one. I scowl at frustration at myself in the mirror. What? Really? That already sounds like Bella Swan. Damn my hair, it just won't behave. And damn Catherine Cavanaugh for being Ill. For being ill. Did you- Who's Catherine Cavanaugh? What a bitch. Kate is my roommate. She's chosen today of all days to succumb to the flu. What a bitch. It's not like she planned it. Wow. This is written really weirdly. His time is extraordinarily precious. Damn this, damn that. This is really repetitive. How does she do it? Even ill, she looks gay, mine, and gore. What? The you know, it is very rare that I run across a word that I've never seen before, and gay, mine, or gamine, or whatever is one of them. G A M I N E. I've never heard that word before in my entire life. You must have a really good thesaurus, E.L. James. Would you like some Nyquil or Tylenol? <laughs> she sounds like a waitress. You like some NyQuil or Tylenol, rah rah. That's fantastic. NyQuil, please. I'll take it with red wine. <laughs> I made you soup. And now you're fond of her. I stare at her fondly, now you're fond of her. Okay, so what do we know about this girl so far? And it's one page in. She's pale, she has brown hair, she has blue eyes too big for her face. She doesn't want to sleep with her hair wet. And her roommate has the flu and she has to do an interview. And she's kind of a jerk in her head. Okay. Kate can talk anyone into anything. I don't have to see any evidence of that yet. I'm not gonna just take something for your word just because you said it. Vancouver, Washington? Vancouver, Washington. I think you mean Forks. That's hilarious. That- oh my god. She even lives in Washington. This even takes place in Washington State. You were that lazy? You couldn't like change it to take place in like New York City or something? New York City would be a good place to re relocate your story. But no, you're gonna keep it in freaking Washington State. Okay, fine, whatever. I don't care. You named your VW Beetle Wanda. You named your VW Beetle Wanda. <laughs> you named your VW. Gray House? This is like an orphanage. It sounds like an orphanage. She's wearing the sharpest charcoal suit jacket and white. You know what that makes me think of? And I know it I know she means a charcoal suit that's like that's like slick and um sophisticated. But when she says a sharp suit, I think of those eighties suits with the big ass shoulder pads that kind of like stuck out everywhere. I wore a blue jacket. She only owns one skirt. Sensible brown knee length boots and a blue sweater. For me this is smart. Okay, so you're frumpy. As I pretend she doesn't- that's actually kind of good. As I pretend she doesn't intimidate me. I kind of like that. Amused, no doubt. Why do you assume everybody's amused at you? You could look frumpy and somebody would be amused at you. <laughs> she hands me a security pass that has visitor stamped, firmly stamped. How would you be able to tell if it's firmly stamped? Unless they like, they actually stamped it. They probably do it with a computer. Surely it's obvious I'm visiting. No shit, Sherlock, you have a badge that says, Visitor, very firmly stamped out the front. Black and white. This time in black and white. What was the other one wearing? Hold on charcoal and white isn't that you would think if it said this time it'd be different but i guess not all right okay she's no anything about you're an well you're an idiot what do you mean you could have cursed kate if he's like a businessman you could have googled him 
You're a moron, Anastasia. I'm assuming this is Anastasia. We actually don't know her name yet. I don't. Do we know her name? I don't know. I'm not even going to look back. To be honest, I prefer my own company. Reading a classic British novel. No. No, don't make her one of us. She's such a self-insert. She really is. I roll my eyes at myself. Get a grip, steal. Get a grip, steal. That is her inner monologue. Do you actually ever think of yourself, like refer to yourself with your last name? Like in your inner monologue? Dude, I mean, I don't sit there and go, get a grip, Michael. That's, you don't do that. Okay. I guess Gray is in his 40s. Fit, tanned, and fair hair to match the rest of the personnel. I guess Gray is in his 40s. Fit, tanned, and fair hair to match the rest of the personnel. I'm assuming that you're probably wrong because you're kind of stupid because you didn't dress right to go to this building. <laughs> Immaculate blondes. It's like Stepford here. Apparently you have a vendetta against a blonde. This is actually called the- what is it called? I don't know, it's like this this literary device where like only brunettes are cool and like blondes are morons or something like that. Miss you? Yes, I croak and clear my throat. I hope you're not getting the flu. That would be <laughs> hilarious. Mr. Gray will see you in a moment. May I take your jacket? Have you been offered refreshments? Olivia is our new intern. <laughs> she got in because she's blonde. <laughs> iced water. No, 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 no. You don't say iced water. You say ice and water. You'd say iced tea if it was sweet. Like, if it was like iced tea in a glass. I've definitely worn the wrong clothes. You think? You you said that like eight pa Didn't you say that like two pages ago or something? Mr. Gray will see you now, Miss Steele. Do you go through? Do you go through? <laughs> Do you go through? I push open the door and stumble through. Oh my god. No. No, you're Bella Swan. You're Bella Swan. You're Bella Swan. You're Bella Swan. You're falling. You're falling over thin air. You're falling over your own feet. Double crap. <laughs> That's fantastic. I am on my hands and knees in the doorway. Ooh. And gentle hands are around me helping me to stand. I am so embarrassed. Damn my clumsiness. I don't think that's a proper sentence. I have to steal myself to glance up. Holy cow. He's so young. He extends- that's a creepy sentence. He extends a long-fingered hand to me once I'm upright. <laughs> that's all I can think of. Copper-colored hair. Copper-colored- Edward. He's Edward Cullen. This is ridiculous. You can even change his hair color? That was that lazy? Really? It's a backspace button. You just hit it. You type blonde. You type brown. It's not that hard. Actually, if this guy is over 30, then I'm a monkey's <laughs> uncle. <laughs> As our fingers touch, I feel an odd, exhilarating shiver run through me. Must be static. Wow. No, static is like, ow! That's what static's like. If you go, all exhilarating shiver, that's just kind of like either you're getting turned on or you're just kind of, you get the creeps. I blink rapidly, my eyelids matching my heart rate. <laughs> this is, this is so bad. They're lovely, raising the extraordinary to extraordinary. She doesn't really talk like a normal girl would talk. I don't think I've ever said anything that pretentious in my entire life. <sighs> I couldn't agree more on this deal. <laughs> he replies, his voice soft. And for some inexplicable reason, I find myself blushing. Is this whole book gonna be like this? I really hope not. She just called him Adonis. Oh my god. Stephanie Meyer referred to Edward Cullen as Adonis. Like, 8,000 billion infinity times. Please stop. Next, I set up the digital recorder and I'm all fingers and thumbs, dropping it twice at the coffee table in front of me. No, the phrase you're looking for is all thumbs. The phrase you're looking for is all thumbs, not all fingers and thumbs, because fingers and thumbs. All thumbs would be clumsy. Fingers and thumbs is just normal hands. Okay, he's watching me. One hand relaxed in his lap and the other cupping his chin. Wait, what? Okay. That's really awkward. One hand relaxed in his lap, and the other cupping his chin, and trailing his long hands. <laughs> I don't even. I have so good. I don't even know what this company is. This is stupid. What's the company do? Is it like a? Okay, it's a business. What is it? Is it a bank? Is it like a like a commercial loan office? What is it? What did he do? I don't even said what he does. He's just a businessman. Okay. <laughs> Why does he have such an unnerving effect on me? His overwhelming good looks, maybe. The way his eyes blaze at me. It sounds like his eyeballs are on fire. 
the way he strokes his, he strokes his index finger against his lower lips, I wish he'd stop doing that. I wish he'd stop doing it too. Okay. Oh, he's in telecommunications. Okay, well that makes sense. Now they tell you. He's- holy crap, he's arrogant. Do you have to say holy crap? This is an adult book and I've heard it has porn in it. You can say holy shit. I don't think anybody's gonna jump down your throat for it. Do you have any interest outside your work? I have very interest, Miss Steele. A ghost of a smile touches his lips. Very, very, and for some reasons I'm confounded and heated by his steady gaze. His eyes are alight with some wicked thought. He sounds really creepy. If you work so hard, what do you do to chill out? Chill out, he smiles. He really is beautiful. I sail, I fly, I indulge in various physical pursuits. I'm a wealthy man. I have expensive and absorbing hobbies. He sounds like he takes people's eyeballs and pickles in jars. Possibly. There are people who say I don't have a heart. They know me well. Ugh. I'm a private person. Wait, but people know you well, but... He, he still protects his privacy. That's a bit weird. How old were you when you were adopted? That's a matter of public record. Yes, and so is like all the freaking things that you're asking him. You could Google all this from businessmen. Hasn't he done under interviews in his life? I mean, this is such a blatant plot device. Oh my god, it makes my head hurt. Are you gay? He inhales sharply and I cringe mortified. <laughs> Are you gay? <laughs> Damn Kate and her curiosity. She likes using that a lot. Damn the blah 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 blah. Damn the blah 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 blah. Okay. My heartbeat's accelerated. My cheeks are heating up again. It's not like she has a monitor, like, on her heart. My heartbeat has accelerated. My eyes are blinking at the same rate as my, my heart is beating. It sounds like she's reading her own vital signs off a monitor. This is not good writing at all. The blood drains from my head. The blood drained from your head. <laughs> the blood just drained from your head. It just went. <laughs> so you're, you should probably be dead. It should be the blood drains from my cheeks because that would actually mean you stopped blushing and you went pale, which is what you mean. But when you said the blood drained from your head, it sounds like Christian Grey just cut your throat, strung you up by your ankles, and is letting you bleed out on the floor. Double crap. She said double crap again. Why does she keep saying that? What does that even mean? I've never heard anybody say that in my life. He places his elbows on the arms of the chair and steeples his fingers. Is he still stroking his lip with his index finger? <laughs> I made any plans. I need to get through my final exams, which I should be studying for right now, rather than sitting in your palladial, swanky, sterile office feeling uncomfortable under your penetrating gaze. That should be in italics, but it's not. Maybe it's just the um fact that it's on the internet, but it should be in italics. It's her inner monologue, and she's not like saying it, and it's not part of... The things that are happening. <laughs> Did you get everything you need? You better drive care. He's kind of creepy. He's like ordering her around and they, they, they just met like five minutes ago. Ensuring you make it through the door, Miss Steel. Oh, he's mean. That was mean. Oh, I thought she was like embarrassed and thinking it was cute because it said, I blush. And I, you could have written that better. You could have said, I, I flush with anger. Or something because the next dialogue is she's snapping at him she's glowering inwardly she's I'm glad you find me entertaining great places his hands for a moment on my shoulders I gasped with the contact he notices my reaction he gives me the, how's he not gonna notice that if you gasped <gasps> I don't know that's weird I need to get out of here yeah yeah you do because he's freaking creeping me out and I'm I don't know I'm not even like in the book I need to get out of here yeah yeah you do because he's freaking creeping me out and I'm I don't know I'm not even like in the book when I turn to look at him he's gazing at me and leaning against the doorway beside the elevator with one hand on the wall Anastasia he says it's a farewell Christian I reply and mercifully the door is closed and mercifully the first chapter ends do oh my god I feel like I want to go get this book and finish the rest of it because I want to see if he's really a serial killer or not maybe I can find it somewhere online and that was that it's 109 a.m. Eastern time I'm really tired <laughs> I'm gonna sit here and stroke my lip with my index finger <laughs> what the heck Fifty Shades of Grey what the heck